Alright, part 11 guys, and we're still in this water world. Aquarium oh. Park. Oh. <laughs> I want to get out of it so bad. But it's cool, I guess. Oh, I hate these things. Yes, I hate them too. Can't remember. I think they were in uh, Starlight Carnival and they just bug the crap out of me. It doesn't help having all these little explosive things. I hate the ones that go up. The ones yeah. That are very annoying. Like these ones are okay because they kind of move with you, but the ones that go up are just awful. Yeah. And that was really close right there. <laughs> and right when you think you're done with the bouncing thing, you have to write another one. Yep. Yay, I'm it done. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thankfully Ooh. that's over. Thanks. I love Sonic Speed. What? Um, yes. I like how Sonic games have a lot of speed. I like speed in games. Yeah. One thing that bothers me about Sonic games, though, is that sometimes, like in this one, even, um, they'll, like, have moments where they'll try to stop your speed. It happens a lot in Sonic 2, where it'll just, like, it'll go from, like, a long platform to just instant death area. Yeah. I remember on one of the Sonic games, I don't know what it is, but like you're running and then out of nowhere there's spikes pointing towards you so you're gonna run right into them. <laughs> Make you go right. Yeah, they were being some like crafty people when they made those games because like they, they put some devious traps. I just recorded some new um, Sonic 2, and uh, I was on Metropolis Zone, and there's this one part where, actually, basically the whole entire level is, you'll run for a bit, and then it'll, like, go straight into an enemy, and he'll, like, punch you in the face, and you'll be knocked down, and all your rings will be lost. Or... But at least you're pretty much safe in Sonic games, as long as you've got one ring. Yeah, that's what I love about Sonic, and kind of not about Mario, because Mario, he'll die if he gets touched. But Sonic, it, if he gets touched, he bleeds all of his all of his rings. And if you pick them all back up again, then you can just go and keep going and keep going. Mm, here is my favorite level. I actually learned something playing this playthrough that those little fish that like surround you sometimes underwater. Um, I don't, I don't, if I don't you boost, it. Un if you boost underwater, they like they'll propel you. It's basically an underwater boost without using your boost. See, I never knew and about that. They could have said something. Why? Well, yeah. Maybe they do. If you have like the hint thing turned on, maybe they do. Yeah, I don't act, I don't want to listen to Tails talk to me about hints and stuff. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> and I hate these parts where, like, you just can't get one of those little things, so you just drown. Blah. I heard something... I know who does the voice of Tails in this game. I can't think of the it's name. It's a girl. girl. I know that much. <clears throat> she actually, which is funny because the guys that played her, or the other girls that played her made her sound like, made Tails sound like a girl, but um, I actually learned it right there. I was like, holy crap, but um, yeah, this girl actually made Tails sound like a boy, which was awesome. Funny. I got so close to dying in this water part right here so many times. I mean, I would be at like one and then finally jump out of the water. Yeah. 
What's also nice is that if you have those little fish things, they apparently, um, you don't need- I don't know if you don't need those little bubbles, but every time I have those, I usually don't. Fish are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the ones that try to eat you. Yeah. Just more reasons of why Sonic games are very awkward. <laughs> They're bipolar, that kind of way. <laughs> I love that, how like you like... S totally just... You'll just be swimming and jumping and stuff, and then you'll just boost out of the water. Oh, uh, I died so many times at this part right here, you have to jump. I know. <laughs> I did like not that. expect that. <laughs> I would do that. Not jump. I think I die a couple times here. <laughs> I might have edited it, but I'm not sure. Wow. So just in case if I didn't edit it, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just to show you all of the ridiculous hazards that can happen. Here's the part I would get stuck at. Well, not right here, but... This next part? Yeah. If you go into that one place. See, I boost and then fall right into an endless pit. <laughs> I never knew about that place. There's another way you can get... Uh... Yeah, get to the... Thing. Instead of going up there, you go to the right of the wall. Instead of getting that one hover. You go to the right, and then there's a hole, and you go into that hole, and you get another hover. Oh, I see it. The springboard draw. That's where I went. I went up here one time, and I didn't see any other. At least I thought I didn't see any other place to get through. Maybe it just wasn't working good enough. And then I fall <laughs> again. Like, <laughs> you go too fast, you die. You go too slow, you die. <laughs> So pretty much, you're gonna die. Pretty much, basically. Okay. I think it's cool they got the little crabs in here, like they did, like the original Sonic games that had them crabs, but 2D instead of 3D. Yeah, except those crabs in the in that game are crafty little punks, and I hate them. <laughs> uh, Sonic 2, they just they straight up just punch you in the face when you're just going as fast as you can. Out of nowhere. Let me check that. Yep, the there's hole. my bad editing skills. I never really got these part where you had to keep clicking A. It was just kind of odd. It was like, in Sonic Unleashed they did this thing where like you'd tap different buttons on the controller, but since the Wii controller is like awkwardly shaped and there's really no other like you can't like switch buttons fast. Um, they just went with A. <laughs> so it's basically just a lazy way out. I never used my Wii mode for uh, Sonic Colors. I used the GameCube controller. Yeah. I used the Wii controller. I don't know. Probably because I don't have a GameCube controller. But. I'm actually planning on doing that. I'm planning on uh, getting a GameCube controller and then just buying GameCube games so I can play my play them on my Wii and then do uh, LPs on them, like good GameCube games. I think the nunchuck on the Wii was made for your left hand. Yeah. I don't know because I, I hold it in my right hand and it just feels awkward. When you put it in your left hand, it feels perfect or fun. <laughs> There's always a C button or C, um, not switch. Joystick. Yeah, the little yellow thing. Yeah, that's on the GameCube. There's always a C something on GameCube or uh, on Nintendo consoles. Yeah. Like, Nintendo 64 had the C button and then the. Wiimote has the C button. 
Yeah. Either way. Alright, see you guys in part 12.